and I'm the writer in residence at the Mary Ratdown Library. And today I'm very delighted to have in the children's department of the library the very lovely Judy Curtin, who's going to talk to us a little bit about her books. Uh, Judy's new book is called Time After Time and it is just out. And one of the themes in this book, Judy, is time travel. Yep. Um, can you tell us a little bit why you chose that theme and why the 1980s? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just love the idea of time travel myself. Don't we all want to go back yeah. and fix stuff and change stuff and see things that we couldn't have seen before because we weren't even born? Um, so my thought with that was one of the main girl characters, Molly, uh, two girls, Molly and Beth. But Beth's mum mm -hmm. has died mm -hmm. uh, and she died when Beth was a tiny baby mm -hmm. and Beth has never known her. And the only way for them to get to know each other is for Beth to go back in time. So that was kind of the starting point. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely read. It's very touching. I won't spoil Thank anything, you. but there's a very touching scene between Beth and Molly and a certain character they find in the 80s. <laughs> um, no spoilers. No spoilers. Um, so Judy, you were a big reader as a child. Mm. Did you have any particular favourites? I read everything I could find and um, I wasn't a library member because we didn't live anywhere near a library mm. for a lot of my life so um, it was reading what was on bookshelves over and over again. Um, I loved Heidi, was <laughs> the one I kept going back to. Um, I was reared far from the Swiss Alps but <laughs> um, I felt like I'd been there. Yeah. It was just so evocative of the time and the place and the, the scenery and the the time with the grand uncle. Mm. It was just a lovely, lovely book. So when I did go to this with Alps many, many years later, I really felt I'd been there before, mm. which I think is a great sign of a book. Yeah, it actually took me there. Definitely is. And Judy, what um, Time After Time is the first in a mm. series about Molly and Beth. And when will they revisit us? When is the next Molly and Beth story? Well, like all of my series, it started off as a standalone and I <laughs> swore this was going to be just one, but I've actually almost finished um, a World Book Day book mm -hmm. um, called Fast Forward and you can guess maybe slightly <laughs> where, <laughs> where the two characters go and um, yeah I'm working on that at the moment. And that'll be out in March next yep. year. For World Brilliant. Book Day. Thank you very much and thank, thank you, you. <laughs> thank you to Judy for joining us in the lexicon today.